Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we have got three different crystals that you can choose from. We also have a new camera that I'm using and this is not a new camera, it's an old camera that I've had for many, many years. In fact, I don't think they even make this camera anymore. That's how old it is. But I wanted to use it today because we've got this beautiful 28mm lens and I haven't used it for years and I thought, oh, I really want to use this lens. Now, I'm not sure if it's fit for purpose, if it's going to work with a pick a card reading because I'm not really able to use the autofocus. I'll have to manually focus as I go along, but the results might be worthwhile. So let's see. I'm just experimenting in this video today. And today's topic is going to be what breakthrough is on the horizon for you. Now group one, we've got this wonderful, and you'll see what I mean here about focusing. I'm going to have to manually there we go. But it's it's a really lovely lens and I feel like I just want to try it. So let's try. Um, anyway, this is Turquoise, Turquoise Heart for group number one. And then group number two is uh, this. I'll see if I can focus in on that. Get that great color. Wow, it's a kind of, it's, oh, there we go. It's Labradorite, Labradorite Heart. It's really stunning. I got it from a Mind Body Spirit Festival, I think, some years ago. Okay, so there's that. And then there's this, I think this is this is green calcite. If I've got that right, but you can let me know in the comments below. I'll try and focus on that. There we go. We can see that a bit better. Yeah, so let me know if I've got that wrong, but I think it's green calcite, the group number three. All right, well, pick your crystal and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this very beautiful turquoise stone, you are in the right place. Now I have to apologize group number one. I have actually just recorded your entire reading and I'm not going to be able to use that footage because the camera silently stopped recording at about the 14 minute mark. It's such an old camera that it didn't beep, it didn't do anything to warn me or tell me that you know that it was going to cut out and so I have already read for you an entire reading but you know I'm actually kind of glad that the accident happened because I've just tinkered with the settings of this camera and I'm trying some completely new settings on this camera and yeah I'm thinking all of that running around kind of like because yesterday I was tinkering with that camera and experimenting and like I've done a lot of work <laughs> to try to get that camera to operate and um, anyway but I think it's giving a good result here because now I've changed the settings I'm using a manual settings on this camera I didn't realize I was even able to do that so let's see like I don't know I think that all of that activity has probably been for some important reason maybe I'm going to like the results of this camera which I have been using but on new settings maybe I'm gonna like this better so let's see all right now I'm just gonna quickly bring up some more cards you have two readings <laughs> I'm gonna have to also try and just forget about whatever I said for you in the last session by the way these two are decks you haven't seen before I'll take that one uh, yeah, so, all right, let's get one more. Do I want one more? Yes, I do. I want one of these. All right. 
gosh, what a day, because I have to get these done because I do have session work and yeah, I've got a lot on today. All right, so I've got this beautiful turquoise heart, the heart, of course, the heart chakra, that's the significance there. Let's see if that'll zoom, there we go. Uh, and the blue color, right, this, this kind of um, turquoise blue, that's very throat chakra. So you might need to speak up about some matter to do with your heart. That's quite possible. That's interesting. I did not read that one in the previous recording I did for you. I'll be very interested to see what cards come. So, all right, what do we have here? Ooh, steadfastness. Nice. Okay, number 32. As to five, which is, five is a change number. Lots of things might be changing around you at the moment. The topic, by the way, is what breakthrough is on the horizon for you? Playfulness. Did we just have... No, we didn't. It was a different card. Anyway, it looks similar. All right, playfulness. That's fantastic. So my joy is the greatest gift that I give to others. Absolutely. When you're fun, you know, life is fantastic, isn't it? For everyone, right? <laughs> so when you're having a good time, everyone's having a good time. We've got here the silver dragon. Illuminates your potential with higher light. Access untapped resources. Look into your soul. See higher possibilities. Wow. Okay, the silver dragon. Look at that. You hold the key. Group number one. Oh, fantastic. Hanuman. Hanumanji is here. Unwavering devotion. Yes, that's one of the most wonderful things about Hanuman, his incredible devotion to Lord Ram, right? He was, uh, the love that he had for Ram was phenomenal. You know, it, the stories about, you know, and it's, it's a kind of, um, well, it was a total devotion and it's in a, a kind of best friend type of love, you know, as well, like the, because these are two masculine figures, right? Um, wonderful. Okay, so let's see what breakthrough is on the horizon for you. I'm seeing kind of good times ahead. And it's interesting, this concept of best friend came up here because it's like, maybe you haven't been getting out and having fun. Maybe you need to do that. Maybe you need to hang out with some friends. Let's see what comes in the, in the cards when we're going to clarify. All right. See, group number one. I'm still in the energy of the old group number one reading. Uh, I have to shake that off because that was a whole different story. But this is lovely. This is really wonderful. So, okay, let's take them. We have here the chariot and we have the queen of pentacles. Okay. So now what are these clarifying? Because I think I want to clarify what is your devotion to and it could be a best friend it could be your friends it could be family it could be the person you are in a committed partnership with okay so it's like you are we've got movement here have a look if you're single it could be that you are moving towards a beautiful committed relationship right so that's if you're single if you're partnered up I feel like you're moving to closer levels of devotion and love to the person that you're with let's take a look 
Eliminates your potential. What is your potential? Oh, wow. The Ten of Wands. So your potential is that you can grow your life to take on quite a lot of responsibility is what I'm seeing here. We've got a Ten of Wands and this is a kind of Capricorn, Ten, Capricorn. Capricorn is responsibility. It's Saturn. It's, you know, the broad shoulders. It's give me the work, I'll do it. Okay, so the breakthrough on the horizon for you could be a healing in your relationship or a relationship if you're single that will kind of enable you to take on the world is what I'm seeing here. But let's keep going. Let's see. Let's see what this playfulness card is all about. Oh, wow, the moon. I think you've been hiding your playfulness away from the world. Why? Let's see. Let's see if we can see why. Why? Why have you been doing that? Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of hiding. Here. So we've got the seven of swords. There's deceit. Okay. Maybe, maybe you think, maybe you've been hiding your playfulness away because others have been deceiving you. You maybe you're not sure who you can trust. Let's clarify on that. Uh, what do I, I will take one of these. I didn't use this deck last time. Let me get a clarification on this. Oh, Page of Cups. So there's some new, new opportunity, new love, new something. Maybe you want to express your emotions to someone, but you are hiding them away because maybe you're scared of being deceived right maybe it is that yeah the last time i i tried this or i you know tried to express my emotions i yeah maybe maybe it didn't go so well okay get another card about this knight of pentacles yeah but go slow it's like and I think that's what the breakthrough is for you I think the breakthrough for you is that's on the horizon is to do with steadfastness and knight of pentacles. You embracing a slow journey. You saying to yourself, do you know, it's all right. It's all right to take time. It's all right to not rush. It's all right to, yeah, to, to go at my pace, whatever your pace is. Maybe in the past you were rushed in relationships or someone was in a hurry or something like that but it's actually more natural for you to go slowly and to take time and that's 
the better way really that's the, I mean all the you read any relationship book and they always they're always telling people to slow down <laughs> you know that is like the big message let's take one of these and then we'll take one from each of these this is fascinating this is kind of similar to the group one I just read for you shaken that off now I'm immersed in the energy of this but there's some there were some similar things happening in the previous reading anyway so all right look at that we've got now we've got Capricorn and Aquarius right here and we've got a word that I'm not even going to try to <laughs> say um oh how nice fertility and prosperity feed your soul with love and abundance with will flow wow and this is something you need to do for you group number one you need to feed your soul with love and that's you on your own by yourself look at that lord ganesh G is just on his own having the best time in the world there so i think that is what you need to do let's take a look and see yes we'll have one of these and one of these so any final guidance here for group number one take that and we'll take one of these as well and then we'll get a couple of quotes and yeah I took out the other quotes from the jar good so they're all fresh quotes for you right there we go okay we'll see what's here first oh wow again it's another kind of fertility type thing going on here we've got here worm moon faith have faith yes definitely what number have we got 31 that's four that's like a stability kind of a number as well four as well in the vedic system is rahu as well so rahu is new new things and and rahu is the uncharted it's like you haven't gone there you don't know what you're doing there right so yeah okay so i'd say the guidance from this is have faith you are constantly moving towards your breakthrough and getting a a real kind of um you're doing great type message from the other side here okay excellent and what do we have here meditate and contemplate yeah brilliant new moon in pisces that's wonderful yes i think that's what you need to be doing at this time meditating and contemplating taking things slowly don't be in a rush uh, yeah and and what it says here feed your soul with love and abundance will flow yeah i think that's what you need to do and that does mean you know and that's, this can mean playfulness and hanging out with your friends or good time with your best friends something like this uh, is what's needed right now the breakthrough on the horizon for you let's really sum this up so i think the breakthrough on the horizon for you group number one is embracing your unique journey and the fact that it goes slowly right don't be rushed or pushed by anyone especially in matters of love don't rush don't you know think you have to go quickly or any of that really take your time meditate and contemplate that's going to be important for you but the breakthrough on the horizon, I do believe it is to do with love and abundance, a relationship if you're single, closer levels of love with your partner if you are committed, if you are together with someone. I think you've got great energy on the horizon ahead, group number one. Let's see what quotes come for you and it's really interesting in the jar this time i think we've got some leftover samurai quotes okay that i don't know what that is 
and <laughs> we've got these I folded I think yesterday so these are newer and these are African wisdom and and or cowboy wisdom as well so let's see what comes <laughs> I just found these quote videos on YouTube oh I love this this is great the quickest way to double your money is to fold it over and put it back in your pocket cowboy wisdom that is so good I like that because this is pro the slow journey this is pro the person who see I don't play the stock market I firstly I don't have any money but like <laughs> I wouldn't play the stock market <laughs> anyway if, if I had money because I would go the slow road like invest it take your time do do all the slow long-term type things you know um yeah I think that is definitely the much better way I like this statement that's good the slow road is better and that's the one that you're on it seems so embrace that okay and what do we have here oh we've got a samurai quote here and then I'll just fold it and there we go so it sits properly the fool lives to consume all they can take from the world the wise live to create a better world yes yeah there's a whole different way of being here and this can also help if you are you know trying to get off any addiction or any of that to recognize that the outside world is so limited in comparison to the infinity of joy that you will find within yourself if you do your meditation if you live the slow healthy good life you will be your true self you will be infinitely happy group number one I do hope this has been an okay reading I'm so sorry I am still immersed in the energy of the previous reading I did for you I think but I did my best and let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two or this very beautiful uh what is this again labradorite heart <laughs> My apologies, group two. Now, I think you'll see the introduction was filmed on a very different camera. I've now come back to my regular camera, but with new settings. So I actually think this might look a bit new anyway. I'm still figuring all this stuff out, guys. My apologies. It has been very interesting. <laughs> I've, I've just, yeah, I've had my head in camera gear for the last, well, half of yesterday I did anyway. I got everything ready. Then I filmed group one and then at 14 minutes it cut out and I was like no so I lost and I but I'd recorded the whole 20 minute reading of course for group one and look at that it just never I guess I'll keep the file or something you know um, I don't know if it'd be needed in the future but I'll just yeah keep it I mean, I couldn't publish it because it's just half of a reading. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't publish that. It was a good reading though. That is one of the very, yeah, how many times that, I don't think that's ever happened. I've been pretty lucky with Pick a Card actually because these are all just one take situations here. I never record things twice. Okay, where is, oh, there it is right one of these so we're going to see what breakthrough is on the horizon for you this should hopefully be a much more clear reading it should be a lot more focused and because I am used to just yeah I just do it once you know like it's not and I do try to think about the group over like the long term as well and just think you know I uh, try and keep all of that in mind too not so easy but yeah well I have been observing some interesting things with all three groups anyway right like for example there's always a connection between group one and group three let's see if that happens today but today it's difficult because I did two for group one so anyway group two you guys are always pretty profound actually let's see what you've got 
perseverance, yes. Yeah, you're a persevering kind of a really strong, there's a lot of strength uh, in group two. When I look at group two overall, if we have regular people in each group, that is. All right, so perseverance, number 28, which becomes a one, which is new beginnings. So perhaps there is a new beginning on the horizon for you. We're looking at breakthroughs. What is the breakthrough on the horizon for you? Group number two, you are persevering. You are going to come to that new beginning. All right, let's see what we've got here. Beginnings. <laughs> yeah, what did I say? <laughs> that is pretty handy. Thank you, Soul Coaching Deck. <laughs> uh, I cherish all the cycles in my life. Yeah, you are due for some kind of big new beginning here. So this is very exciting. Black dragon from Saturn. Ooh, fantastic. Wow. Brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Yes, and you've got perseverance there. So we've got concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision, congratulate yourself. You have passed a test. Oh, this is magnificent. Wow, group two. This is beautiful. We'll clarify that with a with a Saturn card. We'll see what's going on. The sun. Oh, how fantastic. Limitations are self-imposed. Yes. Radiate as if there are none. That is wonderful. Absolutely. Oh, I love this. This is great. All right. Well, what have you got going on here? Group number two. This is amazing. So we'll clarify this black dragon from Saturn with my black Saturn deck. I, I call this my Saturn deck. It's from a company called, I think, Labyrinthos. Is that what they're called? I think so. Okay. Knight of Wands. All right, well, this is a card of action. Wisdom through spiritual discipline. Perhaps you've got, you've been working with your actions. You've been working with your habits, actually. Like, yeah, this is quite interesting. Because one of the things I discovered when I was away, so I've been away for about three years, went to the family home, Sydney, Australia. I wasn't well, <laughs> and but I healed and came back. Anyway, what, one of the things I did while I was there, and I was chatting with my mum the other day and explaining how I've discovered this new thing about what is home for me. And what is home for me is, is actually my actions and good habits. That's what I've discovered. Like, so getting all your physical actions, routines, habits, diet, all the physical stuff, getting those habits into gear, into shape, that's actually what my home is. Isn't that interesting? Because I've changed physical location. So I was living somewhere else for three years. And the things that make me at home again are routines and good habits isn't that interesting so I feel like there's something in that for you maybe where because the knight of wands is action man that's all about action it's like you know it's about what you do and what we do every day is you know we get up we get ready you know we eat our breakfast we do our day we do our work but the structure of all of that activity that happens day after day after day after day after day. It's very Saturnian. Saturn, Saturn things are the daily things, right? So I feel like this new beginning that's on the horizon for you is going to require energy. It's going to require physical energy. It's going to require you to be able to be unlimited, to express yourself, to be creative, right? The sun. So in order for you to be creative, 
you really need energy you need your life to be ordered and organized and when it's really highly ordered and organized and structured and all the habits are going and like the machine of your life is going really really well and efficiently then you can just be super creative it's that I feel like that's what this new beginning is all about it's all about you getting the machine of your life in absolute tip-top order okay so let's see if we can have a clarification on that so I want to clarify action man here <laughs> knight of wands let's clarify on him let's clarify on this concept of as well like your home is your yeah or where you live it's not actually physically where you live it's your habits so that way God can put you anywhere and your habits will always see you through. You know what I mean? So it's like I feel a bit like that. I feel like I could just be picked up from here and you can put me on another continent in a new place. But I will get my habits going again and I'll get my you know, meditation going in the morning and I'll all the good things that I've got going, I'll just get them going again. And then... A new structure will emerge and I'll be able to be creative again. So like that, we kind of, oh wow, look at that, yeah. This, you doing this, like sorting out all the habits of your daily life is going to bring a lot more abundance in for you because you'll be really organized and able to, yeah, to make more money right or to be more abundant have more interesting experiences all kinds of things right so this is great wow that's fantastic all right um let's clarify on the beginning what is the beginning what is this new beginning oh page of pentacles yeah it's to do with finances it's to do with money this is about your prosperity this is about possibly a new career possibly a career change you doing more of what you really want to be doing you doing life on your terms you know you being your own boss right and so many people are doing this right now so many people are being let go from jobs that they probably weren't really enjoying fully you know there, there are aspects of most jobs that people like but uh yeah there's something about you being unlimited here and because of the page of pentacles appearing i am saying that yeah this is you starting a business you're doing your own venture you really doing your own thing and in order for you to be able to do that you're going to need all the saturnian stuff you're going to need Yes, the spiritual discipline. You're going to need discipline. Something about really getting your habits and life in great order, great shape. Getting the machine of your life going. And that does mean experimenting with, you know, when, when you best work, when, you, when it's a good time to sleep and wake up and all these things. So today, for example, like I'm doing the reading first thing in the morning with the fresh morning sun right whereas other times when I've done this I've done it in the midday sun not so good because it comes on the table I've done it with the evening sun so now I've learned okay get up early do it first thing and like this I'm experimenting with my schedule with my days um very Saturnian all that <laughs> all right let's see the perseverance let's see perseverance let's see with this deck are we doing on time we're actually okay good perseverance what have you had to persevere with yeah your work this is such a career work focused reading that's the three of pentacles there this is really career focused work focused this reading is very much about you persevering on your path you that you keep going that there will be many new beginnings 
as you keep going and growing on your path okay uh, but it feels like there's one on the horizon for you very soon and it doesn't have to be some big grand thing it doesn't visually have to look vastly different a new beginning can be you just experimenting with a habit like or you somehow changing your day's routine so that you get an extra hour each day to devote to your craft to your work how can you reshape your days so that you've got that just clear hour to get something important done yeah that is what it looks like all right let's see let's clarify let's clarify on the sun why is the sun here i'm going to use a different deck great energy here group number two five of wands yeah it's like when you shine there will be competition there will be people around you who might not like it as well okay so you start shining and being creative and changing your days and waking up really early and you know eating the healthy food or whatever the things you're doing right you're doing something different there might be people around you competitors or something they might not like this but that's okay <laughs> i think that's just something maybe you need to be aware of let's see what else we've got what else do i want to clarify on i think we'll get a couple of guidance cards and then we'll wrap up this has been a really nice reading group two all right we've had this card before growth yeah five and i mentioned five here as well didn't i let's have a look no that was group number one i'm getting confused okay that's all right <laughs> that's a one there that's a beginning and that's a beginning but you've got a five here as well so there is there will be a time here of growth change five is mercury i do believe so i've got a lot of green here this new beginning it's it, it needs your heart energy it really does because we do have he's in green that background's green this is green there's some green there too there's quite a lot of green some green leaves there and the background of this is green as well that's quite interesting your heart so green is the heart and it's like your heart needs to be on board with this with your with what it is that you do your heart really needs to be on board and we've also got the sun and the sun is creativity it's art it's expression So when it comes to career and you're going to shape this new career of yours or this new chapter you've got to love it you've got to love what you do that you loving what you do is going to feed your soul it's going to feed yourself in so many ways and that will just continue it'll be like compound interest that all that love is just going to because you it's like you're going to send out waves of love and more love's going to come back when you love what you do people can see that and and then you know they reward you with their business or their time or whatever right wonderful group number two this is good this is this is growth and this is growth of uh abundance of wealth of money this it's it's kind of time for you to grow your money your financial abundance here and one thing that someone had said to me in a reading a very very long time ago which is something i've reflected on quite a lot actually she said to me 
uh, you need to just allow money to be there for you. And it's just one line, but I have reflected on that one line for many years now. And I think I get what she meant. She said, you need to just allow money to be there for you. It's like if you follow your heart's desire, if you follow what's really important to you, money will just come along on that journey. Like the, the universe will just support that because the universe supports good activities. It really does. And you've got to believe that first, you know, that you will be supported, that the money will come, the money will be there. I don't have to worry about that or I don't have to focus on that. It's like make your life what you're passionate about and all the abundance, it will follow. It will come. You'll be amazed. You'll be surprised. So let the universe surprise and delight you as well. We could, we could say that too. Right, let's take one last guidance card and then we'll draw a couple of quotes. Ooh, nice. Luck is on your side. Hang on, I'll just focus that. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. That is beautiful. Yes. So look at that Sagittarius, the journey, right? You're going to, and that's what you're at the beginning of, a brand new journey. And it's a career journey. This is you finally doing the work that you really love or moving towards that. And as I say, it could be just shifting one habit, just working with one habit and then you work with the next habit and the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Start to transform your days, clear up more blocks so you've got an hour here, you've got an hour there, you've got, you know, um, you're clearing up more blocks of time and yeah, luck is on your side. That is wonderful. All right. Let's see what we've got in the quote jar. So quote jar, we've got some new things in here. So we do have some samurai quotes. They're old. And we've got cowboy wisdom and what else? Cowboy wisdom and African wisdom. Let's see what comes. So we've got here, good judgment comes from experience. And a lot of that comes from bad judgment. Yeah, I like that. Cowboy wisdom, that's great. Yes, good judgment comes from experience. And a lot of experience comes from bad judgment. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we build experience, by screwing up, by failing, by, you know, I've done a lot of that. <laughs> like, so many. I remember the first... Oh, what the first business card I ever designed, it was terrible. My first designs, this was a long time ago. It has taken me a long time to improve my design skills, you know, like such a long time. I've made so many mistakes. Actually, well, just today, I completely screwed up with the camera thing. Like, yeah, and that's good because, you know, because now I've learnt the manual settings on this camera and I might be able to uh, hopefully be more productive here with Pick a Card. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. When an old man dies, a library burns to the ground. African wisdom. Yeah. I just found this to be a really poetic, beautiful statement. And I feel like you are building the library of your life with your experiences, with your knowledge, with every single thing that you're doing. You are becoming wiser, you're becoming smarter, and that's through all the experiences, right? That's a library. A library is, you know, full of books and books and books. And what are books full of? Books are full of experiences. Look at that. We've got good judgment comes from experience. I think, yeah, your, your perseverance is helping you collect so many experiences and you will be amazed. That is your personal library. You're becoming enormously wise and look at that. What you have to share is 
you know, when people spend time with you, they might feel like, wow, I'm spending time at this really great library. I don't want to leave. You know, I'm learning so much. I feel like you've got a huge amount to share, group number two. Let me know how you got on with this reading in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi everyone, I am just editing group number three and I've been looking at the definition of yin energy on the internet and I've come across a whole bunch of articles that are saying yin energy is actually cool and slow and wet and dark and like there's this whole other yin yang scheme going on and I got really confused I'm thinking how did I how have I got this so wrong <laughs> right <laughs> but do I have it wrong and then I remembered well because I learned yin and yang from a macrobiotic food cooking lady who lives in she runs like a holistic cooking school in Devon here in England and I went to that many many years ago and she taught me everything I know about yin and yang and so then I googled yin yang macrobiotic cooking and I came across the link what I'll do is I'll put this link somewhere in the description and for those of you who want to learn about this very different definition of yin and yang you can come and read this article but there's a brilliant diagram that's here and it shows that for example alcohol and chemicals that's high yin and something like red meat that's actually yang okay and and and, and the yang foods are the ones that uh, you know slow to digest they take forever all that kind of thing whereas high yin is things like sugar and you know that's fast burn fast to digest uh, like this and like that so if you have a totally different system of yin and yang in your mind to me know that you know there is another way of looking at yin and yang and it's the way that I was taught yin and yang as I say by my macrobiotic cooking teacher this was a long long time ago I'm pretty sure her name was Marike I should look her up and see if I can find information I'm sure she's still running that school I actually don't know but if I find information about her school I'll put that in the description below as well but I just wanted to let you know in case you're wondering about you know in case you have a very different definition to yin and yang to me you now know where my definition is coming from and I'm going to study up more on this topic so that in the future you know I will be more precise with how I speak about these two things but yeah that's my introductory disclaimer for group number three and I'll leave you to your reading. Hi there group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful green calcite oh but it's not focusing come on here we go <laughs> this beautiful crystal I don't actually remember where I got this from I'm trying to remember I think it might have been a mind body spirit festival I'm not sure anyway it's very beautiful uh, let's begin let's start your reading so green is the heart yeah and and there's a bit of white here as well so we've got white white which could be venus heart interesting energy already okay apologies group three i'm still i'm still not over the fact that <laughs> that i did i did two readings for group one what a day so this has all gone on far longer than I expected because I've got a bit of a busy day today as well so but I think I'll get it all done I think I'll be okay still getting my getting my routines going interesting that some of that type of thing came up in group two just now let's see what comes up for you all right so Lord Ganesh she is here. I wanted him to be here because I thought we were using a new camera setup. We're not. <laughs> we're using the old camera, but we're using the old camera with a new setting. So I think that whole activity has been very worthwhile. Which is good. So I didn't do all that setup and all that work 
yesterday for no reason. It was all with very good reason. Nothing is wasted. That's what I've always discovered that, you know, we think, oh, I spent several hours and but to no benefit. But no, that's not, that's not true. Always something good comes out of the word adversity coming into mind yeah yeah because you come out with the lessons with learnings and I've come out of this camera experience <laughs> with quite a few learnings today okay Let's see what we've got oh belonging nice oh that's wonderful That's really lovely. Yeah, maybe you, you haven't had a sense of belonging. We've got the green repeated as well. Heart colors. Miracles, ooh, nice. My life is a miracle, yes. Yeah, just the fact that we're here. I mean, when you really think about life and being here, this is going to sound like some kind of mushroom tea conversation, but, but it's not. So sometimes just contemplating things, you can get quite tripped out <laughs> about <laughs> what is this thing called life? What am I doing here? Where did I come from? All these things. When you really go deep into these things, when you really, really contemplate deeply, yeah, it, you can go to some interesting places and you don't need any drugs. <laughs> like you, can, you can get to those far out, tripped out places without taking any form of drug. Some people might need a drug to do it. No, you don't need any of that. If you really contemplate what is this thing, what is life, you deeply, deeply contemplate it. You can just be completely amazed. Just that, you know, life itself is fascinating. Just being here is amazing. You can go to that space with nothing, you know. Anyway, all right, let's have, what, what do we have here? Thor's red, black, and gold dragon protects you in times of change time of rapid transition and transformation relax you are safe fantastic yeah brilliant i do feel group number three that you've often got you do get this quite a bit protection you know uh angels and guides are looking out for you they're and yeah they're protecting you from negativity manipulators people who aren't good things like that that's great that's good We'll see. We'll, we'll dig into that and see if we can find out some more information. Drum. Dance to the beat of sacred rhythms. Fantastic. That's good. And that's very root chakra. It's really interesting that these two have come belonging. And the drum. Drum is a root chakra type instrument. If you want to clear and heal your root chakra you are advised to do something like drumming uh, one of my friends she joined a drumming group she absolutely loved it yeah i mean it, this really stimulates the first chakra it's a great thing to do um and this thing of belonging it might be that your root chakra is you might be ungrounded at this time you might not feel like you belong uh, and so a remedy for you could be dancing, bringing the energy down into your feet, into your calves, into your thighs, you know, re and really feeling your feet on the ground as you walk. You might be, yeah, I think you might be in need of some grounding, actually, because it's quite interesting with this miracles card, I went right up into the sky, didn't I? And I was talking about, you know, high yin energy. What's that? That's drugs right so I was talking about drugs and tripping out and <laughs> so all right interesting energies here group three what is going on let's check it out so 
let's get grounded actually let's root chakra let's let's consult the saturn deck here what have you got going on all right i want to clarify on grounding all right let's ask about grounding and then we're going to ask about why do you need protection Grounding. You need to get grounded. Why do you need to get grounded? Or just some more information about grounding at this time. All right, the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Didn't we have that in group one? I can't remember. There's always some group one, group three connection. Anyway, uh, Ten of Wands. Burden, root chakra. Hmm. Belonging. Okay. No, I need more information than that. Ten of Wands. This is planning, this is, so when we're looking at root chakra and where do you belong? There's a heaviness, there's burden here, but there's also you seeking, you trying to figure out where you're meant to be. Maybe sometimes when you think about that, it feels like a burden. No, I want to dig further. Uh, let's take one from here. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. All right. I mean, this is a great card to get. Um, This could be a little bit, where do you want to base yourself? Maybe you have some question marks over that. Let's ask about belonging. Interesting, we've got the ten of... <laughs> okay. Belonging. Let's ask for a clarifier about belonging. Knight of Wands. Okay. Four of Swords. got action he's like one of the most active he's a bit crazy really and then we've got total rest it's so interesting in this reading because here's what I think is happening I think you're being the breakthrough that's on the horizon for you I feel like is happening now and I think yeah it's, it's almost like we're working with a live energy here and what's happening is that like you're being expanded so all your polarities are being expanded as well so it's like you know on the one hand we so we talked about this thing of oh going high and 
far out trips and when you really contemplate you know life and that very high sort of yin energy right and then but then we've got deep sort of yang you know we've got the drum like and what I feel like is happening for you right now is that your sensitivities are increasing yeah I think like your sensitivities are increasing your polarities are increasing your ability to handle bigger extremes is is increasing at this time and during this expansion you are being protected so I actually think this is something to do with your your intuition your yeah your psychic uh, skills and abilities or something you you're there's something about you being expanded and you're being protected while this happens so it's a little bit like maybe your auric field I'm kind of getting the phrase like there's some scaffolding around your your aura at this time let's ask about the protection because look at that there's kind of there's planning but she's very certain the queen of pentacles is certain she is grounded she's earthy she's practical she's abundant she's all these things she's very real but then there's you planning and then there's action man here but then there's you in total rest and then we had the high yin energy but then we've got root chakra get grounded you know so and I think you'll be able to explore higher realms and be more deeply earthed as well through this process I think you're going through some kind of breakthrough now is what's happening that's amazing group uh, group number three all right so let's let's ask a little bit about this protection thing whoops oh just made a mess <laughs> right there we go that's good let's ask about this protection what are you being protected from oh wow ah nostalgia maybe there's like yeah some old thing is like trying to um reel you back in kind of thing but you're just like yeah I think you're being protected from from that and I think you're well, well let's see let's let's see I'll, I'll, I won't project what I think let's ask what do I which deck do I want to use I think I want to use this one let's ask is there something that's trying to reel you back in some old thing maybe you think oh surely I've grown past that or I've evolved or haven't I healed or wow but there's a holding on energy yeah all right interesting so what are you holding on to group number three what are you holding on to What are you holding on to? Yeah, I mean, I think you're holding on to the promise of good times. But that's the thing. It was only ever a promise. Like, there's no reality backing it up right it's like when it's like when you fall in love with someone's potential 
but then and you're in the relationship with them for many years and you think well you know but they but they've got this quality and they got that quality and there's all this great stuff and you know and we had fun that one time like several years ago you know and you keep holding on to the promise of better better thing like better things or but when you look at the reality of the life like the root chakra or what's actually going on here it's just this it's just ten of wands it's like that is the reality it's just there's just been burden like when you look at what actually materialized versus what you had in mind that's really interesting group number three so I think the breakthrough on the horizon for you is and that is being transformed it is happening now is your psychic sensitivity is growing you are being protected while this happens you will experience far more belonging here on earth perhaps that ha you haven't felt that uh, you know and but you will you're going to ground into the earth you're going to love the earth you're going to go higher right you're being protected the only thing that can derail you, I think, from the great changes that you're, you're going through is like um, some nostalgia from the past or something that will try to reel you back in. But let's see. Well, let's see. Let's see. What do I want to ask? I kind of want to ask. Oh, this is getting along. Um, I want to ask about the miracle. All right, let's ask about the, the great heights that are being created. What's the what's the top thing here? Or you know, oh, all right, eight of wands. Yeah, we've got speed, which is a very yin sort of a thing, right? High yin, speed, fast, yang, slow. You know. Um, hmm, all right, ability to compete with ease, with speed. There's something about, yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're being prepared for this wonderful life right now and I, but I think that and I don't think there's anything you need to do particularly I think I think what you need to do is uh, just not fall into any old traps or something like that that's what I'm seeing yeah yeah don't don't fall into any old traps of nostalgia or, or of fantasy thinking of, you know, and yeah, this person's going to change or, you know, no, <laughs> that's probably not going to happen. All right, let's, oh, three came out, let's take them. In a bit of a long one here but I think we got there so the breakthrough on the horizon for you it is happening it is happening now it is that your psychic sensitivity is being increased you are being protected while this change happens but as this change happens maybe and the other thing is maybe the universe is testing you it's going to bring you back some old thing and say oh do you still want this and it's like no <laughs> no I don't think I do what do we have here hmm. I 
it's not there we go there will never be peace on earth until there is peace in us samurai quote that's true yeah yep fully agree with that this is great as well if it will focus that is if you are filled with pride then you will have no room for wisdom African wisdom yes yeah true another way of saying that is if you're filled with ego as well then you will have no room for wisdom yeah so true Oh, I love this quote. Yep. Oh, <laughs> come on. There we go. We have two lives. The second one begins when we realize we only have one. Confucius. Yeah, and I think that this is key in this reading here because because that's this nostalgia thing it's like you keep giving second chances third chances fourth chances fifth chances some old thing comes back around you're like oh you know you entertain it again no you don't have time for that you've got one life you, you've got you know hang on here we go oh it's not focusing It will. Interesting. Why is it not focusing? Hmm. That means something as well. Here we go. We have two lives. The second one begins when we realize we only have one. Yeah, I think I, I feel like I'm beginning my second life because I'm only living for this one life. And... I think that's really important and I live for my future lives as well sometimes people say that like oh oh I'm environmentally friendly because I have children and my children are going to inherit the earth even if you don't have children like I, I know I'm probably coming back here <laughs> so I'm going to live well for me you know and, uh, yeah and because I, I want to come back so I'm going to do the best I can with this one life I have, you know, and yeah, it's, it's all one, you know, it's all one life. Amazing, group number three. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.